By the time the United States was developing the F-16 Fighting Falcon, the Soviet Union was in the process of making the MiG-29 Fulcrum. In light of this, why did this former Soviet dogfighter end up flying for NATO? The MiG-29, unlike the MiG-25 Foxbat, wasn't defected to the West, nor was it stolen like the Mi-25 Hind. Well, this all took place in 1988, when East Germany bought some 24 MiG-29 Fulcrums from the Soviet Union. However, East Germany's air forces of the National People's Army were integrated into the West German Luftwaffe following the fall of the Berlin Wall in November 1989 and the reunification of Germany in October 1990. Soon after this event, the MiG-29s became NATO compatible, and two former East German squadrons that operated the MiG-29s were reconfigured into a MiG-29 test wing in April 1991. In the months following this event, the MiG-29s were upgraded to be interoperable with NATO. There were joint act exercises in 1994 between U.S. fighters and German MiG-29s. According to the Federation of American Scientists, the MiG-29 was just as good as, or better than, the F-15C for close-range aerial combat due to its improved maneuverability at slower speeds and helmet-mounted weapon sight. 